There's that whole question uh, about uh, voters' attitudes towards this thing, and, and uh, the voter attitudes uh, are never a particularly accurate reflection of what's going on in the e economy. Uh, and I have to say that, that, that this Biden administration has been so such a huge factor in the economy. Most presidencies are relatively neutral players in the economy. Most presidencies don't dramatically uh, change uh, what's going on uh, in terms of the government's interaction with the economy one way or the other. And I usually don't want to give the presidencies very much credit for what happens, the good things that happen or the bad things that happen in the economy. But this administration has been so active in the economy, uh, you have to really twist it to try to pull them out of the list of uh, where the credit goes for this economy being where it is tonight. Absolutely. It's, I mean, and across the board, we're seeing the results. There's that confidence that you saw, as you, you, you mentioned, the conference board survey, consumer confidence up 70 percent. But so is it with Wall Street. We have the NASDAQ uh, uh, up, uh, up uh, 50 percent this year. It's pretty, pretty remarkable. And uh, the S&P up 20 percent. Uh, this is uh, everything is, uh, is going in the right direction. The cynicism out there is just something which is being uh, echoed, in a, you know, in a in a circular echo chamber of sorts. But it's the the financial facts are something quite different than what you know what the pollsters put out there. It's that the pollsters who got everything wrong in the fall are the same pollsters basically who follow the motto: if you can't predict accurately, you predict often. And they try to w wash over the fact that you know Amy Amy Walter, the Cook Report was telling us we're going to have a 35 seat majority Republican Senate. That, that didn't, didn't quite happen, Lawrence. And uh, and you find that some get intimidated by the cynics in the economics profession. Uh, you see, you know, whether or not it's uh, uh, my, our old friend uh, Larry Summers out there sort of talking down Bidenomics, it's, there's, there's sort of this um, Rudy Giuliani, uh, uh, JFK Jr., Alan Dershowitz, forget-me-not crowd that thinks you get attention by cynicism. Let's just focus on the facts instead of throwing around the ideology. The facts are uniformly positive. We haven't seen an economy like this, and the Biden administration has been more successfully economically interventionist than the, than the New Deal, since the New Deal, yes. for sure. Yeah, absolutely.